I will never explore music completely. It's an infinite territory. I had an intuition that music is so vast that I would never be bored exploring it. And I would never come to a point where I feel like I am done with it. When you have a couple hundred people in the room and you play alone on a wonderful CFX grand piano and you're the focus, you have a couple hundred years as well, you listen through, you imagine these ears. And uh, so it changes the music. It makes music usually a little bit more on point. And it sometimes can make music better. It can make improvisation better because it gives some kind of meaning to the moment. And this is playing music. You have always a big to-do list of the next notes, the things you have to... It's, it's just constantly your brain is full with things you have to take care of. And when that is happening, you will automatically arrive in the moment, which people also know from meditation. For me, inspiration is basically everything what polarizes me, everything what I recognize. There's positive inspiration and negative inspiration. Both can be used for the same cause. You know, we can invert negative inspiration and make a good inspiration out of it because you think of the opposite of it and think about that and then make music. I'm the person who doesn't dislike any genre. I'm the person who doesn't dislike any approach of making music. What I try to be is to just be a little better, a little more skillful the older I grow. But I will always feel like I'm, I'm that young kid who tries to make music I haven't heard before. Music will be the best teacher when you really listen. It will, it will tell you things which you can only tell yourself. And that is, that is my mission in making music, is helping people listen to themselves. <laughs>